back to NRM 638, Python Scripting for ArcGIS Applications, Spring Semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. We're going to work with tool parameters in Python toolboxes. And to start with, let's just start in the Python window in ArcMap. And we'll make a parameter. We'll just call it test. So ArcPy parameter, and we're going to make it equal to test. So there's going to be some required arguments for parameters, and they're enclosed in this help panel as the name, and then all the other parameters are typically optional, but we'll we'll give it a name for our parameter, and we'll call it parameter zero. And then the next would be our display name, so we'll call that display name. And then the next would be a direction. So down in our help panel, it says the direction would be input or output. So in this case, we'll say input. And then the data type. So the data type would be what type of parameter. So from working with script tools, typically our input parameter in script tools were feature layer. And then our parameter type will typically be, is it required or is it an optional parameter? So we'll make this required. So that creates this object, and it's a parameter. So what is the type of this object? It's an arc object parameter. And then what are some of the properties of this object? So display name and direction is an example. So we have some properties set. There's also going to be some properties that are set using default values. So for example, test.multivalue. What's the property value for test.multivalue? It's automatically set as false. OK, so we're going to do this with our script Python toolbox tool. So we'll edit that. And we'll be working in this get parameter information class. So let's uncomment that. So uncomment this region. So we'll make our first parameter. And we'll call that parameter 0. And it'll be arcpy.parameter. So that will make our object. And then we'll set some properties for this object. So parameter 0 dot name and then we'll give it a name and then the display name so that would be in our dialog the user will see input feature class and then the parameter type so that's going to be required and control V dot and then our parameter direction and then our parameter dot data type so that will be equal to our feature layer data type and then the final thing we'll do is return a list of our parameters. So in this case, we only have one parameter, and it's called parameter 0. And then we'll save our work. So this is a class that will create an object we're going to call parameter 0. And it'll have properties of a name, a display name, parameter type required, direction will be input, and the data type will be feature layer. So we'll save, and then we'll execute our tool in our Python toolbox. So if I double click on my tool, now I've got this parameter. And I could browse to any folder and grab a feature class. And the other thing we could do is set a filter for our parameter since we're using a feature class. So what we'll do is edit our Python script tool one more time. And then we'll have our parameter. So in this case it's parameter 0. And then dot. And then dot filter dot list. So let's apply a filter list of let's filter for poly line feature class or 
polygon feature class and then save our work and then we'll test drive our tool one more time. So we right mouse click and refresh and then our tool should only show us lines or polygons. So for example here in Caribou data set there's caribou points, but we don't see them because it's only filtering for polygons and lines. And we could go back and edit our Python toolbox. And we'll change it and filter just for points. And then save, and then refresh our toolbox. And then this time, the same feature data set, it only shows us points. Okay, so let's add a second parameter. And the second parameter will be a buffer distance. So let's copy this block of code. And then paste this block of code. And then we'll change it from parameter 0 to parameter 1. And then we'll change our properties. So display name input buffer distance. And the parameter name will make it parameter 1. It'll be required, it'll be input, and the data type will make long integer. So there won't be a filter in this example. Okay, so then what we would do is return parameter 0 and then return parameter 1. So then we'd have two parameters in our tool. So we'll save, right mouse click on our Python toolbox, refresh, right mouse click, check for syntax errors, there's no syntax errors and then double click on our tool. So now we have two parameters. So we'll input some point feature class and then we'll input some buffer distance. So remember this, this has to be a long integer. So for example, if I put in characters, I would get an error message. So there's internal validation that checks to make sure that the user actually inputs some integer values. So for example 100. And the last thing we might want to do is document our dialogues for our parameters. So for example right now if I go show help for this dialogue parameter there's no description and for input buffer distance there's no description. So just like we did with script tools we can prompt the user for each dialog. So to do that, what you would do is just right mouse click on your Python toolbox and go to item description. And then for each parameter, you could document what the user should do for each parameter. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, the next video session is on actually executing in our tools in the Python toolbox.